So what we're going to do in this tutorial is to import a movie into GarageBand and then start adding some loops to get a soundtrack going on the video. So let's start an empty project once you've opened up GarageBand. And let's just create a vocal track. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to import our video. So we're going to go to File and we're going to click on Movie and then open movie. All right, so we're gonna go into my desktop, then I have this video here, so let's just quickly play it. This is the video that I want to put a soundtrack to, so I'm going to select that video and open it. Now it opens up this video window, so let's just shrink that down, okay, into a, to a, smaller, to a smaller size, so we can watch the video play as we're adding the loops. So if I press the space bar, there is my video playing. We can see the soundtrack at the top here. Hi, my name is Richard Poth and my... So the next step is to actually put the loops in. So I'm going to click on this loop button here. And I'm going to choose guitars. And this is given a list of lots of different sounds. I just need to find the right guitar sound. So I'm going to choose these guitar sounds here. This is picked steel string 10, so I'm going to use these ones. So I'm going to just drag that into my timeline and let's add a second one as well. And that brings us right up to just before I start speaking there. Now I'm going to add a different track because if I start playing that now, you'll hear it. So here we go. My name is Richard Poth, and my but I want that to now reduce in volume, but I don't want to reduce the beginning bit. So we're going to take another track, and I'm going to take this one here. For my, my presentation, presentation is. I'm going to drag that one into another track here. So we've got a bit of control here. I could put it into this track if I wanted to, all right. But I'm I'm going to have separate tracks, so I've got a bit more control on the volumes. Um, so now let's. Drag this out, and I'm going to drag this out to about here. So let's play our video now. Hi, my name is Richard Poth, and my presentation is about how... So I want to reduce the volume of this track here. So in order to do that, I need to click on this button here, and this is the automation, so I'm going to click on that. And now I've got this option now, I've got this yellow line here. So I'm just going to reduce the volume of this track. So I'm going to click a point there, and then a point there and then just drag that down like this so now my volume for that track will reduce as I play it so let's play it through now hi my name is Richard Poth and my presentation is about how time technology okay so you can hear the volume of the track reducing as it moved through so now I'm just going to quickly add some more tracks to this so it gets to the end of my song and then show you how to fade it out at the end so now I've got to the end of the track, what I can do now is just click another point on here and then reduce that to fade, like so. So as I play the end of my video, I'm in the modern world. And I could probably just make sure, move that slightly along so it begins to fade out just before the this end. Of how we tell the time in the modern world. Okay, so that's my soundtrack. So when I play it from the beginning, My name is Richard Poth and my presentation is... We have our soundtrack now. All we need to do now is re-export that as a new movie. So we go to File, we go down to Movie, and then we go to Export Audio to Movie. So we click on that. It's going to ask us to create a new movie. So I'm just going to add on the end here with, with Soundtrack. Let's save it as a 1080p video and then Save. So what we've done is we've exported it as another movie, but we do need to save our GarageBand file. So let's click on save and then save. And now I can close GarageBand. Hi, 
My name is Richard Poth and my presentation is about how... So that's how you add a soundtrack to your video.